What is MACB2 Duplication Syndrome? MACB2 Duplication Syndrome is a genetic disorder primarily seen in males that causes several symptoms such as autism, intellectual disability, motor dysfunction, delayed growth, anxiety, epilepsy, recurring respiratory tract infections, and early death. MACB2 Duplication Syndrome is caused by a change in DNA in which there is an extra copy of the gene MACB2 in a person's cells. In 1999, mutations in the gene MECB2 was identified as causing the disease Rett syndrome, which is found primarily in females. These patients have less than the necessary amount of MECB2 protein produced from the gene. In contrast, in 2005, duplications of the MECB2 gene causing an overabundance of the MECB2 protein were reported to cause mental disability in some males. The prevalence of MECP2 duplication syndrome is unknown. More than 200 affected individuals have been described in the scientific literature. It is estimated that this condition is responsible for 1-2% to of all cases of intellectual disability caused by changes in the X chromosome. This extra copy of the MECP2 gene is caused by a duplication of a fragment of DNA on the X chromosome. The MECP2 gene is always included in this duplication and other genes may also be involved depending on the size of the duplicated segment. It is unclear whether extra copies of these other genes affect the severity of the condition, although duplication of the MECP2 gene by itself is enough to cause the disorder. In females who have two X chromosomes, a duplication of one of the two copies of the gene typically does not cause the disorder. Early in the development of females, one of the two X chromosomes randomly and permanently inactivates in each cell, called X inactivation. X inactivation prevents female cells from having twice as many functional X chromosomes as males. Because X inactivation is usually random, the X chromosome inherited from the mother is active in some cells, and the X chromosome inherited from the father is active in other cells. However, when a female has an X chromosome with a duplicated copy of the MECB2 gene, the abnormal chromosome is often the one inactivated in many or all the cells. Because males only have one copy of the X chromosome, which is needed for proper functioning, their cells cannot avoid this defect. In most cases, MECB2 duplication syndrome is inherited from a mother who has a duplication but does not have any obvious symptoms. If the mother has a duplication, she has a 50% chance of passing it on to her children. Rarely, the condition is not inherited and occurs due to a random event during the formation of the egg or sperm or in early development. Also, although MECB2 is usually duplicated on the X chromosome, in rare occurrences, the gene may be translocated to a completely different chromosome. In these cases, the symptoms are more severe. What is MECB2? MECB2 is a gene that instructs cells to produce a protein also called MECB2. The MECB2 protein regulates the production of other dozens of genes by attaching the DNA and either increasing or decreasing the amount of those genes produced in the cell. Once it binds to DNA, MECB2 may change the rate of transcription by either altering the chromatin structure or by recruiting other proteins such as HDAC1, HDAC2, and SYN3A. Currently, there are no cures or highly effective therapies for MECB2 duplication syndrome. Because of this function of MECB2 causes abnormal expression of other genes, sort of like a domino effect, traditional therapeutic tr strategies that target singular or a few pathways do not seem to have a great impact. However, in 2015, researchers at Baylor College of Medicine, led by Huda Zogby, reported a treatment method that reversed symptoms of MECB2 duplication syndrome in mice. The treatment, which uses short pieces of genetic material similar to DNA, known as antisense oligonucleotides, or ASOs, blocks the overexpression of the MECB2 gene. This therapy has been approved for clinical use by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to treat other diseases such as HIV AIDS, spinal muscular atrophy, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, familial hypercholesterolemia, among other diseases. These results provide hope for a potential effective therapy to treat MECB2 duplication syndrome in the future. For more information on MECB2 duplication syndrome, visit mecb2duplication.com 
or rarediseases.org and search for MEC-18 duplication syndrome. Also, don't forget to subscribe.